Hey guys, it's Jill. And today I am doing a Mother's Day tag in honor of Mother's Day. Yay! Happy Mother's Day to all your beautiful mothers out there. I hope you're enjoying your day. I hope you're out there with your family and your friends just having an amazing day because you deserve it. I'm gonna put the name of the YouTuber that I found the idea from right here so you guys can go and check out her channel. Also, her original video will be down in the description below so you guys can go and check out her video as well. I do not know her, but I did see her video and I was like, that's a good idea. I think that I'll try it. a Mother's Day tag as well. Well, thank you girl for the idea. I think her name's Ray. Let's get started, guys. So the first question is, how old were you when you had your first child? I was 21 years old when I gave birth. And it was kind of a bummer. Not a bummer because I was excited that I was having a baby, but just because it's 21 years old. So when you're like looking forward to being 21 years old, you're looking forward to, you know, hey, I get to go clubbing, I get to go drinking. Not me, I was in the delivery room because my birthday is January 7th and my daughter was born January 21st. So yes, I was 21 years old when I had the second question is, what was the hardest thing about being pregnant for nine months? <laughs> for me, the hardest thing was morning sickness, guys. Oh, freaking morning sickness. And I had morning sickness for five months. My first five months pregnant, I was sick every single day. I couldn't hold anything in. I, As soon as I would eat, I would throw up. I did not know that you weren't really eating for two. Nobody ever told me that, that I wasn't really eating for two. I just always heard that when you're pregnant, you're eating for two. Back then I did not know. So I would get really sick and throw up and I would be like, the baby didn't get enough time to eat. So I would eat again. So guys, I gained a lot of freaking weight, man, when I was pregnant. <laughs> but for me, the hardest thing about being nine months pregnant was the morning sickness. Because like I said, I, was, I had morning sickness for five months and it was no joke. Okay, the third question is, can you already know what you were having before finding out the gender? No, I had no idea. I mean, everybody else were always trying to guess. Everybody also go, oh my God, you look like you're having a girl because you're so round. Some people say you look like you're having a boy because you carry in the front. From the back, you couldn't tell I was pregnant, but the moment I turned around, I was humongous. So people said I carried it all in the front. And I have a birthmark on my back. When I was about six months pregnant, I noticed that it was in the front of my belly. Yeah, no, I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell what the gender was. Question number four is, what are some good times you had during your pregnancy? What I did love about being pregnant is I can eat whatever I wanted. So if I had a craving, my husband would go out and get it. I remember I had the weirdest craving. I craved tuna fish and milk. I do not like seafood. I do not like tuna fish and milk i don't drink like a glass of milk i'll drink it in my cereal or that's about it it was kind of weird that i would crave a tuna fish sandwich with a glass of milk Ugh, sounds nasty but just being able to eat whatever i want it when i want it that was pretty cool <laughs> and feeling oh another thing was feeling the baby kick inside of me and knowing that i had something growing inside of me uh was pretty cool you know, you already get that connection because you just feel that there's something inside of you moving around and it's a baby, a little human. Just feeling that to me was amazing. So those two, eating whatever I wanted and feeling my baby inside of me kicking and uh, moving around. Those are amazing feelings. Question number five is what are your children's name? Okay, so I have three kids and my oldest is Karina, but people have a hard time saying that so they call her Karina. My son is the middle child and his name is Isaiah. And my youngest is Tatiana and we call her Tati. Oh, I call her Tati Boo. Question number six is describe your children in a single sentence. Oof, okay. So I'm gonna start off with my oldest. My oldest, I would say, she is a K-pop fanatic. She freaking loves K-pop, okay? So that's her. My son is an artist or a fashionista. He loves drawing and music and fashion and <laughs> let's see my little one i would say she is my tomboy she loves sports volleyball weightlifting she's currently in drama but she is my little tomboy she reminds me of so much of me <laughs> i hope that yeah yeah that describes my kids those are my babies 
Seven is, have you changed as a person since becoming a mother? Hello, yes, I had no choice but to change. I mean, it changes you. I mean, you, you don't get a handbook. It made me more compassionate and loving and it, having a baby, just the feeling of having that baby is just love, 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 you so much love. So yes, the answer to the question is yes. What advice would you share with other mothers and or moms to be? Wow, what advice? Okay, I'm gonna go based on what I wish I would have known because back in my days when I was pregnant, there was no Google, there was no iPhones or Androids or anything that we can just search things that we were curious about, you know, at the palm of our hand, we could just search it up. So I would say, I wish I would have known you're not eating for two. Slow your roll because, you know, some people, it's really easy for them to lose the weight after they have the babies. For some people, it's not because once that baby is born, that baby takes control of your life. You'll be running around after that baby and you're not going to have much time for yourself. So I wish that I would have known that, you know, been able to know how to eat better, healthier, you know, stay in shape. Guys, apply freaking cocoa butter, whatever kind of lotion you can find all over your freaking skin. Do not scratch. No matter how much your belly aches, do not scratch it, guys. Rub that lotion on there. Rub that lotion so you don't get no stretch marks. I wish I would have known that. It is safe to work out while you are pregnant, okay? I don't know. Hopefully, that's good advice, but that's stuff that I wish I would have known because I had no one around to tell me that. So I wish I would have known that when I was pregnant so I can keep my body nice and tight, you know? You know what I'm saying? So mommies, apply that freaking lotion. Even if it makes you sick, because I used to hate the, the smell of cocoa butter, but nowadays they got so many different lotions out there for that, that you don't have to do the cocoa butter. You can do anything else, as long as you keep it moisturized and do not scratch. Number one, do not scratch, okay? Would you want to have more kids in the future? I'm at an age now, no. I don't want to physically have any more kids, even though once in a while, uh, since my kids are grown, my youngest, okay, I have the three kids, so my oldest is 22, my middle, my middle son is 20, and my youngest is 15. She's gonna be 16 in a few months. And I freaking miss them being babies. I miss the taking them to see cartoons, going to the amusement parks, you know, and it being for them, like us going on vacation for them and, and having fun with them. Now it's like, you know, guys, when do you have a free time? Do you guys, let's have a family day. And, and it's so hard for everybody to come together and have a free day where we can all be together. And I freaking miss that. So I, I don't physically want to have another baby. I'm looking forward to having grandkids, but I don't want to have another one myself right now I'm I'm too old guys to be having another kid but I, I I love babies and like I said I can't wait to my kids start having babies they're too young right now so not right now but when the time comes I'm gonna be a freaking awesome grandma <laughs> I can't wait and question number 10 this is the last question guys how would you describe motherhood in a single sentence I don't think I could fit motherhood in a whole sentence, but motherhood to me is amazing. I don't want to get emotional because it is, it's, it's a roller coaster. It's a, it's, it's, I don't think anybody's ever prepared, no matter how much you prepare yourself, when they give you that baby. Okay, I'm gonna change that question around and I, 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 I can't, I don't know how to, how to sum it up in a, in a sentence, but I'm gonna change the question around. I'm not gonna change the question around, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tell you a quick story. Okay, I remember my mother was freaking strict. Too strict, okay, and I used to hate it. I used to hate it and I used to always say, when I'm a mom, I'm gonna be a freaking fun mom. I'm gonna let my kids do whatever the heck they wanna do. I'm not gonna be like my mother and you know, blah, 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 blah. And I remember when I had Karina. Karina was a very tough, pregnancy on me alone and the labor alone was ridiculous. I mean, I think it was like 17 hours if I'm not mistaken from the time that my, they had to break my water bag uh, to the point that when I had her, she was born with the umbilical cord wrapped around her neck and she was born purple. And I did not know that because they didn't bring her to me right away and they didn't tell me right away. But I remember that when they did finally bring her to me and they put her on my chest and I held her and I felt that connection with her and that love and I kissed her head. I remember what I said was, oh 
shit. And it was because all of a sudden I got this rush of I have to protect this baby with all of my life, with all of my heart, that I can't let anything happen to it. And then I remember my mother and the fear of a single mother with three kids, raising them all by herself, and why everything was no, she was afraid, you know? And <laughs> I said I wasn't gonna get emotional, but I'm telling you, freaking kids and motherhood, it's an emotional ride, man. They mess you up <laughs> in good and bad ways. But, I am a strict mom, but not crazy strict. My kids get to do stuff, and as long as I know where they're at and who they're with, and you know, when they were little, as long as I knew the, the families, and at first it was just family, they could sleep over family and friends, but the parents, I had to know who was home, I had to have the phone number, you know, but I got away from everything. Been a lump sum. I guess that's how I feel about motherhood. Motherhood is love and compassion and it changes you and be ready for a roller coaster. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be amazing. It's not always gonna be good. There's gonna be tears, there's gonna be yelling, but in the long run, you are going to love that child with all of your heart. And it's amazing how one little person could change your life. It's just crazy. But I love being a mother and I wouldn't change it for the world. And if I had to do it all over again, I would in a heartbeat like that. <laughs> all right, guys, that is it. Those are the 10 questions to this tag. I love the tag. It got me a little mushy and emotional, but it's because of the freaking love that I have for my babies, my three beautiful babies. I freaking love them. Happy Mother's Day. Have a good day, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, y'all know what to do. Make sure to click on that subscription button. If you're not already my subscriber, make sure to click on that notification bell so y'all know when my videos are popping. And don't forget to drop a like, guys. And in the meanwhile, as always, remember to be blessed. God bless you.